A warning tonight for Taylor Swift concert goers. Gillette Stadium says despite scenes like that one in other cities, it will not allow fans without tickets to be tailgating at this weekend's concerts. So there will be no singing 22 nope. in that kind of a crowd <laughs> if you don't have a ticket. WBZ's Brandon Truitt spoke to diehard Swifties who are desperate to find a ticket to one of the local shows. You're looking for tickets? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How is that going? I'm not going well. The field is already covered at Gillette Stadium, home of the Patriots, the last great American dynasty. Swift will make her own mark this weekend. Three back-to-back sold-out shows, but some are still hoping for a chance to get in. I will go on the search tab on Twitter and like see if anybody's selling, like selling Gillette. Those are the two words that I use specifically for anybody that like will not go through those ticket accounts. In her cardigan, 23-year-old Lexi Tavares tells us about the dozens of concerts she's attended, but Swift seats have a reputation of their own. It is nothing like even close to Taylor, where it's just a matter of like even finding one ticket for any of her shows is like finding a needle in a haystack. Tavares says even if she doesn't get a ticket, she plans to head to Gillette. The stadium says only people with a ticket will be able to access parking lots, hoping to avoid scenes like this from this weekend in Philadelphia. Thousands of fans gathering outside the stadium just to hear the superstar. Any particular days or? Any day that gets me there. <laughs> Ashley Holmes has been searching for tickets for months. All that bad blood from the Ticketmaster debacle last year sent resale prices soaring into the thousands per ticket. Twitter accounts made by fans for fans are trying to connect ticket holders with Swifties. This account has nearly 130,000 followers. Holmes says she's keeping the faith, saying her husband has been put on notice. Weekend plans will be canceled if a ticket pops up. You seem to have such a good vibe about it, though. No, it is what it is. I, w I would absolutely love to go if given the opportunity, but I've been fortunate enough to see her twice at Gillette, and if it happens, it happens, and if it doesn't, I have to shake it off. So Ashley and Lexi both say they feel a lot of this has to do with the pandemic ending and people's desire to get out and hear live music in a way they hadn't been able to for years. If you happen to have any extra tickets, I know a couple people that would happily take them. Brandon True at WBZ News.